Hello everybody, welcome back to Beaver Stadium where Penn State has defeated Indiana 24 to nothing at home in their first shutout win since 2019 against Maryland. Obviously a dominant defensive performance, but Sean Clifford and Jahan Dotson also making some history as well as they are now the leading quarterback wide receiver duo for touchdown passes in Penn State history with their 18th connection tonight. But first, Alexis, we have to talk about the defense swarming Indiana all night, the defensive line, the linebackers, the secondary. James Franklin talked about playing complimentary football on the defensive side. What did you see from them tonight? Yeah, a lot of confidence with this group tonight. A quote from uh, PJ Mustafer and Joey Porter. They really highlighted the accountability and the toughness of this defense, just refusing to budge and give up a single point, especially on, you know, in the red zone, not giving up on two of the red zone appearances from Indiana. Brandon Smith all over the field once again, you know, coming up, retreating, a lot of movement, going up with the defensive line, and really a lot of shifting within this group tonight. I mean, we saw Nick Tarburton kick inside a little bit, Jesse Lucetta creeping up, a lot of blitz action, and it really worked to their favor. They were a lot of get they were getting a lot of pressure on Indiana's quarterback and in the run game. So really successful outing from this group tonight and creating a lot of momentum with the big matchup they have next week in Iowa. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And Seth, uh, on the offensive side of the ball tonight, obviously we know about the connection with Clifford and Jahan, but the running game was able to get going a little bit as well. Uh, talk about just some of the things they were able to do. Yeah, I mean, aside from Noah Kane, uh, which I'm you know, still a little worried about um, in terms of the run game there, I think Kevon Lee did a great job of stepping up today. Um, averaged over 10 yards a carry on about 10 carries today or about seven carries. Um, you know, he played really well. I think it was it was important for him to get the ball rolling for guys like John Lovett to then make an impact. Um, he also made a pretty large impact in the receiving game, um, which I think was good for them. Um, you know, run game, it's starting to show up, and I think this was the game that, that needed to happen. I mean, next, next week they're going to roll into Kinnick Stadium against a tough Iowa squad, um, a tough Iowa defense. That's a, that's a team that if your run game isn't working against Indiana um, or against Villanova or Auburn, it's definitely not going to work against Iowa. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it was important to get that going. Uh, you talk a little bit about Jahan Dotson. I think we all know now Jahan Dotson is very good at football, uh, and he shows this every single week. Uh, this is now a sixth consecutive game with a touchdown reception. Uh, he had two tonight. There's no slowing down for him. I think the only thing that's beginning right now is Heisman talks for both him and Sean Clifford. Mm -hmm. And as you said, uh, Penn State will take on number five ranked Iowa next week in a big road showdown for them starting at 4 o'clock p.m. From Beaver Stadium, uh, make sure to follow the Collegian all night for our coverage at collegian.psu.edu and on Twitter at PSU Football.